everybody, it's Glenn, and welcome to the Luxury Shaving Hobbyist. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I appreciate each and every one of you. So I wanted to let you know that um, during the second pass of this shave, I'm going to be talking to you about Hoka running shoes. H-O-K-A running shoes. So if you're interested in the running shoes and not the shave, I will leave a timestamp for you so you can speed ahead and just take a look at the running shoes. Okay. So today we're shaving with um, Vanulay Baby Fresh. Baby Fresh. And we have the splash that goes along with it. We're going to be using a Henson razor. We've got a um, Samoog Owners Club bore brush that we're going to use. We have a beautiful uh, Vanulay bowl to make the soap. How's that? Really nice bowl. We're going to be using some Vanulay pre-shave oil. And we're going to have a uh, feather blade in the Henson razor. Okay, the soap. Baby fresh. Let's open it up. There is the famous Vanulay Rosette Pour. Man, this is baby powder. It smells fantastic. This is not a sophisticated barber shop at all. It's just baby powder. You ever smell a baby's head after the baby's just out of a bathtub, uh, and freshly powdered. It's delicious. That's exactly what this smells like. So I'm excited to use this soap. Henson razor. Here it is. Three piece. This is one of the original uh, Henson razors. Pretty mild. Let me just open it up for you. There's the cap. Here is the plate. Nice handle. I love this blue. Um, very, very, very mild razor. So I always use a feather blade with it and um, the feather blade brings us to life and it's perfect then. So let's load up that razor with our feather blade. There's one thing I hate about feather blades and that's the amount of glue they use to attach the wrapper to the blade. Way too much, in my opinion. There's your blade. And there you go, firmly in the Henson razor. Here's the brush we're using, a Samoog Owner's Club bore. I love this bore brush. Well broken in, uh, really soft. Um, it's amazing to uh, take part in the journey of um, getting a brand new bore and breaking it in and watching it change as you use it. Right now, 
This one is absolutely perfect. Okay, we're gonna scoop some soap out of the container, put it in this beautiful vanule uh, bowl. In fact, we're gonna use a Smiles for Miles soap scooper to get the soap out. So we'll make a nice lather and be right back. Okay, lather is done. Let us uh, show this to you. Beautiful vanule yogurt-like lather. Okay, let us get rid of the glasses. And so we're gonna be using vanule pre-shave oil and the instructions tell you not to wet your face. And I've used this once before and it works well without putting water onto your face first. So let's do it again. The one thing I will tell you is it has a weird smell to it. It's not offensive, but it is weird. I'm gonna put the uh, ingredients on the screen for you to see. Maybe you can pick out what might smell weird. But you know what? It works beautifully. Your face is not oily. This stuff really sinks in to your skin. Just gonna take a bit more. Okay. Baby fresh. Here we go. So again, face is not at all greasy from this oil. It's pretty unique from what I've seen out there. So if you don't mind the smell of it, it is a wonderful prep for a shave. Beautiful, beautiful vanule lather. If you have not tried vanule soaps yet, Monica is running an incredible sale right now. It's $19.99 for a soap and a splash. An incredible deal. And when I tell you there are over 200, 200 choices of soap, Pretty amazing. Take a look at her site. I will leave the uh, site address in the information section of the video. And here we go, pass number one, Henson Feather Blade. I have one day worth of growth And this feather really makes the Henson work. Again, this is the original mild version. I got it just when Henson released their razor. I have another one, which is a more aggressive version of it. But, it works beautifully well with the feather blade. I have not had luck with it, 
without a feather blade. But that's okay. In this hobby, you learn which blades work best with which razors. And the feather in this is wonderful. That baby fresh scent is uncomplicated, just really very pleasing. And you know, sometimes it's really nice to use an uncomplicated scent. Okay, so before we uh, lather up for pass number two, let me show you this Hoka running shoe or sneaker, whatever you want to call it. Okay. I've got a bunch of these. I probably have nine pairs of Hokas. And let me tell you why. Let's just lather up while I tell you. So I've had really, really bad problems for years with my ankles. And um, I've been to orthopedic surgeons. I've had uh, cortisone shots done in my ankles and just killed me all the time, especially uh, if you stand for a long time or walk for a long time, just really painful. So I went to a podiatrist, local podiatrist, and he tried also with some cortisone shots and that lasted for a couple of weeks and the pain came right back again. So he suggested I go to a local running shoe store and pick up Hoka, H-O-K-A. He said, that could work for you. My feet are totally flat. They've been flat for as long as I remember. And again, until I hit about 60, it wasn't that bad, but 60 on, oh my goodness, it was painful. So I went to the running store. Pass number two. They measured me and we tried on a couple of pairs of Hoka. Hoka is known for stability. And that's what my ankles needed. They needed stability. So tried the shoe on, walked around the store for a couple of minutes and I was sold. I could not believe the difference in that shoe versus anything else I ever had on. Just amazing. I bought uh, two pairs at the store. Wore them for a couple of days. Called the store and ordered two more. Then they went online, found the Hoka site, and ordered a few more on the site. But I've got to tell you, made such a difference in my ability to walk, to stand, and I still have some pain, but nothing like I had before. It's got to be 80% better with these Hoka shoes. So,
If you have any issues with your ankles at all and you've tried a bunch of things, give these hokas a try. I think you'll be amazed at the difference they make. A friend of mine um, also purchased a pair. He had some ankle issues. Fixed him up right away as well. So I can't say more about Hoka. I'm thrilled with them. So get yourself a pair. Try them out if you're having any problems um, with your feet. And make sure you get the ones that offer stability. They've got three different levels of stability, and I took the highest level, that's what I needed. Go on the website, take a look at them. Just a fantastic shoe. All righty, pass number three. Let me uh, put a little water on the face now. Face feel is fantastic with this baby fresh vanule and the bowl. Such a fantastic grip on this bowl. This is my third bowl. I've got one travel size, and this is my second regular size. Just love this bowl. Okay. So I feel like I did my public service duty by telling you about Hoka. And the colors you can pick, pretty amazing. They've got some standard colors that they have all the time, and then they change it up for the season. So, never gets boring. Oh, so also, I had um, regular flat slippers for the house and they were bothering me too. So went on the Hoka site and I found these. They're called Aura something. I, I really forgot. I'll, I'll put it up on the screen so you can see it. Fantastic for around the house. If you have any issues with your feet, these aura things, fantastic. Fantastic around the house, fantastic poolside. I could never wear a, uh, a regular flip-flop. I had to wear sneakers, sneakers to the pool and, but now with these, I can walk with these. No problem. So the magic word for today is Hoka. I believe there's a 30 day guarantee. You can send them back if you don't like them. So zero risk. There's also, um, so this one's called the Arahi 6, the one that I have most of and there's an Arahi 7 now, which I have not tried. But there's a Gravita, I believe, and I bought some of those as well. Those offer even more cushion than the Arahi. So I've got both. Love them. Okay, so how did we do? Wow. Smooth, just so smooth, so nice. A couple of my trouble spots and I'll take care of those right now. Okay, we are done. It is BBS. Not only does my skin feel like a brand newborn baby, 
I smell like a brand newborn baby with that baby powder. I love it. Just so nice. So, if you guys have followed my channel before, you know we don't waste any of that glorious lather that could be left in the brush or the bowl. So we scoop it up one more time, get it on the face. We do it for a couple of reasons. One, it smells great and you can enjoy the scent a little bit longer. Two, if you've missed, if you've missed a spot, you can easily find it and pick it up and take care of it here. And three, it's really, really good for your face. So nothing's missed. Let's just rinse off. Okay, we are done. We are done. And we are very happy. So I'm not going to use any witch hazel since there's plenty of witch hazel in this splash. So give it a good shake. Here it is, baby fresh. If you want to read the back of this at your leisure, please do that. Give it a good shake. I can't believe how good my face feels right now. Just wonderful. Fantastic. You don't need a fancy, complicated scent to enjoy the shave, and this stuff is great. Gonna take a little more of that splash. Just excellent. Okay, gonna get the glasses. We'll do a quick recap. Okay, baby fresh from Vanule. Here is a splash. And by the way, you can choose whether you want a glass bottle or a plastic bottle. I choose plastic because I love to travel with this stuff. And uh, glass is always an issue, but nice plastic bottle, especially for traveling. We use some wonderful Vanule pre-shave oil. Smells weird, but it works incredibly good. We use a gorgeous Vanule um, bowl. What a great material, wonderful grip. That's the inside. Some people have mentioned that it's difficult, difficult to get the soap out of the honeycomb stuff, but it's not. If you take some really hot water and run it over the bowl for 30 seconds, it's all gone. No issue whatsoever. We used a uh, feather blade. We used a uh, beautiful Samoog Owners Club Bore Brush. Love this brush. And don't forget, we used a Smiles for Miles Soap Scooper. So thank you very much for joining me today. Again, I appreciate each and every one of you. And don't forget the magic word, Hoka. See you guys soon. Thanks.